All right, so we have a Aries Sun, Moon, and as well rising, a weekly general tarot reading, February 24th to uh, 1st of March 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out uh, the description down below, and there you're going to find a link to my website. Uh, from which you can uh, purchase a, a reading of your choosing and once the purchase takes place within the next 24 hours uh, I'm gonna come back with you via email of uh, giving you details how your reading is gonna take place so that being set aside now uh, the first card here which stands as the topic of your um, general weekly reading or the topic and the theme here is going to be the two of pentacles Followed by the next one here, which represents the energies that are feeding up and supporting the situation themselves, uh, itself, excuse me, that is to be the five of wands. Followed by the next one here, which is the challenge uh, that you will have to overcome here. We do have, or throughout the week, we do have a person standing as the king of pentacles. Followed by the next one, which uh, represents uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can and should enjoy throughout the week. We do have the seven of wands. Afterwards, it is what kind of an impression you're going to leave into the people around, what, how, how, what kind of vision they're going to have upon you. That is to be the king of wands. Followed by the next one here, which uh, represents uh, simply, or that is the last one, and that represents the guidance the tarot is offering. Right, so that will be an important week for you, Aries. Um, uh, just looking at the cards, it's all about the situation in between you and a specific individual in your life that you are most likely arguing over a thing. And we're going to see how this thing plays out now in the reading. So first things first, we do have the topic and the energy is feeding of the topic. Now, very interesting combo. It is what we do have here. Now, we do have the five of uh, ones as the energies. And these are a beautiful energies, guys, because the five of ones gives you the opportunity to reverse course of events. Okay, things that are failing throughout this week, you can definitely take the upper hand on them, all right? So you, you can take the matters in your own hands, and if you do what you can, and if you take advantage of the surprises that are happening around, of the uh, turnarounds that this event takes place, or that are creating, I would say, and uh, the, the, you are following in generally the dynamic of the week itself, you can definitely reverse a failure and make it into a success. However, those energies are going to inflict a lot of disagreements. What I mean is that uh, certain individuals and certain people, as we can see here with the King of Pentacles, but we're going to go there in a second, uh, are not going to be happy of that uh, awakening, if you will, or a realization of yours. You know, they, they don't want you to deviate from the common agenda so you can, you know, uh, kind of like fix your own personal stuff. Right, and this is exactly what is going to cause and provoke the uh, the disagreements and the arguments that may happen in between you and your boss, for example, in between you and co-worker of yours, in between you and your partner into relationship as well, and etc. Or it could be as well a family matter here, uh, and it's a bit difficult to translate. Okay, but with the two of pentacles as a topic here. Uh, uh, and I mentioned awakening, you know, uh, you are going to uh, kind of like come to a conclusion here throughout the week that certain concepts you are following are not exactly your concept. So you're going to find them quite outdated, all right? Certain goals or ideas as well, projects, if you will, enterprises are kind of like things that you would not exactly enjoy doing, that are the things that are not your things in general, okay? And that, yeah, you can do them, but it is not exciting, it's not exhilarating, and almost feels like a, a chore, so you're going to have a second guess into those things and that will make you quite adaptable to the dynamic of the week itself and also quite adventurous as well uh, and you're going to see how how can i say it how different your future can be or how different your situation can be and you would want to explore that 
different approach, that different path, you know, that 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 that, that different uh, enterprise, for example, or this different project. So you are going to be more like on a uh, or on a standpoint of experimenting, fitting certain, you know, how can I say it, certain changes into your routine, into your plan, into your relationship as well. Once again, that is not going to be faced in a uh, with a much appreciation from people that are i would say kind of like hoping or giving hopes into your um full dedication to their agenda or to their enterprise as well which kind of leads us to the third card and that is to be the challenge and it's an, and it's an individual so we do have the king of pentacles what kind of individuals these are well these are these are very self absorbed individuals okay they only care for uh, the pushing through i don't know how to say it but they don't it's kind of like self absorbed it is because it focuses upon one thing right uh, or upon it could be upon many things but the point is that they're not very uh they, they don't handle changes very well that's why they are self absorbed and uh don't get me wrong i mean these people they are very generous in uh, in general they are very generous and probably they are very generous towards you however that should not be mistaken with charity that is always the case with the king of pentacles they only give if they have something in return to take okay and now as you are seeing different approach different uh different opportunities say or a different ways how you can make yourself happy loved you know successful and etc etc you are start you are stop corresponding with what they are giving to you right and you are stop giving them what they are expecting from you to give and this is what causes the drama this is what causes the clashes there are areas that you are going to experience throughout uh, the week so uh, the question is how you overcome that challenge well um, there is a certain price for overcoming it so you completely detach from a, a dependency of this person okay which is going to deprive you however from their resources they are willing to give you as well uh, that is one way to spend the week another way to spend the week it is that you completely abandon this uh, new fresh wind that it is coming into the week and you continue on chasing a, a, a an agenda and a goal that simply it's not yours and the worst thing here is that you're going to identify that it is not yours but maybe where you, where you are way too attached to what this king of pentacles has to offer and they do have a lot to offer though so it's all about a personal um and kind of like a personal preferences here and i would and I will give you an, an example, if you will, uh, say a very beautiful girl that likes luxury, you know, and she can be with uh, 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 with a person who she does not like, she does not love, she despise, but that person is kind of like suffusing her with material gains, right? And she's willing to sacrifice her love and her happiness for the material gains that she's gonna get or the other and that is if you do not kind of like wish to overcome the challenge going out of dependency from the material gains in favor of finding love you know or in favor of kind of like improving your circumstances now the other uh, the other example is you know if the girl kind of like says this isn't what i want for myself you know this isn't how i want to spend my life so she detached from a dependency of the king of pentacles and she goes you know and kind of like try to discover the new world for herself now the next one here that we do have is going to be uh, the um, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. Now we do have the Seven of Wands. And Seven of Wands is one of the cards pointing that you are going to be gifted with resilience to withstand exterior influences upon your uh, career or upon your relationship, meaning that you have total control upon how the things are to happen okay and if things fail you are the only one to be blamed for it right so if you do not detach from the king of pentacles it's because you didn't want to, to do it you did not want it to do it right it's not because there was something else pushing you into that direction and also the other gift of the seven of uh, wands here guys it is um how can i say it 
having that awareness of where the wind is blowing from and being able to catch and seize a, an opportunity instantly as the opportunity comes around. And the last gift and blessings from the uh, Seven of Wands, it is the uh, strength and the capability to fight for what is yours okay and not kind of like taking a back stand or rather like stay firm and stand your ground that is what the seven of wands gifts you throughout the week so if you want to make your points if you want to fight for something that you believe in you know if you fight if, if, if you want to kind of like accomplish something for yourself that is the week where you do it so but unfortunately once again you cannot expect you cannot uh how can i say it um expect yeah but uh count on a resources that you had from uh, someone else because that someone else is not gonna help you with it because they don't want you being there uh the next one here is going to be how people are seeing you uh king of wands it is one of the typical cards where one is capable to transform uh, ideas and agendas into a very powerful drive so there is two ways how people are going to see you here it does depend what, what road you're going to take in terms of those cards are you going to take the dynamic here and going to start kind of changing your life or are you going to stick with the dependency you have all right so if you decide to go and change your life for the better kind of like counting only on your personal capabilities people are going to see you very determined and people are going to see you very very ambitious as well and they're going to have that impression that you're going to quickly going to achieve progress success and for example that you are very valuable asset to their company uh, a, a person that they can definitely have a future with in relationship and etc etc now the other uh, way how people were going to see you is someone who prefers to enjoy um, uh, to enjoy the easy way of living rather than to kind of like struggle through life and that is if you decide to stay into the dependency of the king of pentacles but as the king of pentacles it's a challenging card this this reading firmly uh, urges you guys to try to kind of like sever the dependency you have from the king of pentacles for one or another reason and the last one here that we do have it is the guidance that taro is offering and we do have the strength card so the strength really tells us only one thing it is um, that you gotta take your time to kind of like um identify are you happy or in other words do you face your future with enthusiasm or your future looks as gray as nothing you have seen ever before right and if it is a, a gray future then you definitely need to do something with those dynamic energies if you are however content with how the future is to unfold in front of you then you know staying in dependency it's completely fine but um the other thing that the strength here says as well is that whichever path you decide to take here Aries throughout the week you do not own explanation to anybody and I hope you kind of remember that because you are to be not held and uh, not held accountable but it is like an explanation will be demanded from you and you do you are not obliged to give them at all so that being said this was your weekly tarot reading for a february 24th to march 1st 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you the link to my website from which you can purchase a, a reading of your choice and once the purchase goes through within the next 24 hours i am going to contact you via email telling you how the reading is going to take place and uh, Hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.